Dykes on the beat. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi i'm sin and welcome to my channel and in today's video i'm going to be doing my month update on only fans my first video which if you haven't seen i would say start there was basically my experience on only fans for a week and how much i actually made so this video will be branching off of that and it'll be a month update of how much i made what i my experience up there and a few more tips and tricks answering a few questions that i've gotten about only fans so the first thing i think that i'm going to go ahead and jump into is kind of like my experience doing OnlyFans for a whole month now. My first day posting on OnlyFans was the 31st of, I think, July. Yeah, 31st of July. So my month was ending on August 31st, which was like a few days ago. So my experience. First off, my experience with the people that I knew around me. Um, I got a few people who was just kind of like, whoa, really? Are you doing OnlyFans? But then I had other people who they know me. <laughs> Like, this is, this is nothing, now I ain't gonna say this is nothing new, like, I haven't never done anything like this, but it's kind of my personality anyway, like, people who know me and talk to me know that I like, I don't like to, I don't, you know, I take pictures like this regardless, I do stuff like this regardless, if you have me on Snapchat and you're, like, a friend or, like, a person that I know, then you're in my private story that I have on Snapchat that I used to post this stuff on, <laughs> like, only difference is now I post on OnlyFans and it's not free. That's the only difference. But I had a lot of backlash. Mainly the backlash came from my ex. But I mean, stuff happens. But I got a lot of backlash from him and like his friends and those group of people. But like my side of people who actually like know me, like... I mean, the people who know me personally and actually, like, take took the time to get to know the real me know this is nothing new. Like, I don't feel no type of way about doing this. I don't see no bad in it. So, it's just, like, that's why I didn't really get when a lot of people were just like, oh, my gosh, Talisa, are you really doing OnlyFans? <laughs> what's, it, to me, it was just like, what's, like... Why, you, why did you think I wouldn't have done OnlyFans? I was going to be a whole stripper at one point. <laughs> So, I, like I said, if you really knew me, it wasn't a surprise. But the people who didn't really take the time to get to know me, they kind of, it was like a lot of backlash. But, so that was that experience. I definitely tell you, if you're going to start something like this, number one, check down in the description box. Because my referral link is down there. And also my link, if you want to subscribe to my OnlyFans, is down there. But, um, I would say definitely do it. But you need to have thick skin if you're going to do it. Like, because some people are going to come at you. Some people will come a little harder than others. But some people are going to come at you like, oh my gosh, are you really doing OnlyFans? But those people are not paying nothing that you're paying for with that money. So to me, it doesn't really matter. But like I said, you need to have thick skin because you are going to have some people that's going to come at you. Um, Another thing with my experience is with people... <laughs> who want to subscribe like a lot when I post my like little promo pics and videos and stuff you're going to have a lot of people that's going to message you like oh that looks good I like that da, 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 da. and when you send your link they're like oh I don't I don't pay for stuff like that but if you wanted to no cut there <laughs> yeah I'm telling y'all just leave your link there if they hit you with that oh I don't do that type of stuff like I'm not paying for that da, 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 da. just just leave it there Okay, thank you. I guarantee you. Give it a few days. They're going to subscribe. They're going to subscribe. I'm telling you. Don't keep the conversation going. Just, well, thank you. Slide out. Maybe the next time that you post a thing, they're going to look at it. They're going to go into your messages and they're going to subscribe. It's happened to me a few times. I will send it to somebody and they'll be like, I ain't paying for that. So what you doing? I cut it there. Next thing you know, I get a message from OnlyFans. Well, I get a message in my OnlyFans thing and it's them. So that's that's my experience and plus a tip right there cut the conversation short because they gonna know like okay well she not really trying to talk to me like because i'll tell people if you want to conversate hit me up over there <laughs> i'm not talking to you on these apps so that's kind of like an experience and a tip i'm trying to give like some helpful things i know a question that i had received was about tax taxes with your only fans so me personally the i don't do it from the gross i do it from my like from what i take home so i take 30 percent which kind of i mean it's on the heavier end but i just i rather have more money saved than not enough saved to pay back taxes 
So I take 30%. So if I make a thousand dollars, I take 300. Okay, if I have a thousand, if I make a thousand, take it home, I take 300 and I put it into a separate saving and I keep it there. I don't touch it. So like in my the way that my savings set up, I have my tax payback savings. So let's that's 300. And almost all the money I make from OnlyFans, I put into my savings anyway. And so then my other account that's in my savings is just what's left over. So I keep it separated. So that's what I do. And every anything that I buy that is for my OnlyFans. I don't care what it is. If I'm going to use it on OnlyFans, I keep the receipt. I messed up one time because I got stuff from Spencer's and I had to exchange one thing and they kept my receipt. Eat me off. But anyway, I keep my receipt. Let me get my so I had got me this, which I don't think I actually kept. I should have kept the receipt for this. But I had got me this little folder thing. Really cute. It's just a 13 pocket expanded file container, I guess. And just to give you guys an example, this is my Fashion Nova receipt, which I'm going to have to probably get. Um, I usually print it out too because it has like my total and stuff. But, but literally, it has everything I bought on it, how much I paid for it. Because when it comes time to file your taxes, you can use it as tax write offs I believe. So I just keep everything in here. And I keep it in order of dates when I bought everything. Just so that. Because I'm still going to keep the amount in there. I'm not going to spend it. But this can take off how much you have to pay back. Because you bought it for your own fence. So when I buy like my little lingerie and little stuff like that that I'm going to wear up there. I keep my receipts. So that's just a little bit about taxes. So personally me, I save 30% of everything I take home. And I keep every receipt of stuff that I buy for my OnlyFans and I organize it by date. So that's that about taxes. So now I'm going to talk about kind of like how I got more fans. Currently, I think at the time when I hit the month, I had about 89 fans. But currently, because now some people can actually like, they don't have to resubscribe. They can decide, you know what, I'm going to just turn my rebuild off because this month wasn't really. So yeah, right now I have 83 fans. So I had about 89. So six fans kind of live. So currently I have 83 fans. But the way I've been going about getting fans, like I said, one, I was people who would message me for my promo. I would just send my link and just wait for them to either decide they want to subscribe or not. Um, some One thing I did that was super, super helpful was... I would say, okay, go to your DM. It's going to be, like, just go through your DMs and look for those thirsty men who be sliding up on every picture. Hard eyes, hard eyes, hard eyes. You're so beautiful. Blah, 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 blah. Like, the ones who be thirsty. Like, multiple messages. And just go in there and just send your link with a kissy face. Some of them, like I said, they're going to be like, oh, I don't do that. But some of them, they're going to click that link with quick, fast, and in a hurry. Because you might not talk to them all day, but they get to see you how they want to see you. Because most of them thirsty men, they just want to stay... They don't want you for real. <laughs> they just think you look good. That's it. So I would say go through your, your DMs. I went through my Instagram DMs and got a few subscribers that way. I went through my Facebook DMs and got a few subscribers that way. When I posted my, when I started promoting my OnlyFans on my Facebook, I got mad fans. Because a lot, most of my thirsty men be on Facebook and Instagram. But Facebook is more of like the older thirsty men that got money. My Instagram DMs is more of the men that's my age that ain't got no money to spread. You know what I'm saying? So, I would definitely say if you have a Facebook and you be having them old men, they be like, ooh, you a cutie. Definitely send it to them because they got money. Some of them. Some of them going to have money and they going to be ready to spend it. But I would definitely say do that. I forgot who I got that from. I've been looking at a bunch of OnlyFans videos. So, I had got that from some people. Um, I had got promo. I actually now currently do promo. Um, My promo prices are, if you want me to promote you on my Snapchat or on my Instagram, it's $10. $10 for either two pictures, one video. And depending on how I'm feeling, I might actually post it all for you. Maybe, maybe not. I know, um, no, actually, promo on my social medias is either two pictures or one video. But if you want me to promote you on my actual OnlyFans page, it's $20. And I post what you send me. So if I say, if you send me like five pictures, I'll post all five pictures just to kind of help you guys out more. So yeah, and if you want me to actually post on both of them together, it's $15. So if you want me to post on Instagram and Snapchat, it's if you get them together, it's $15. If you get it one day and then the next one, the next day, it's $10 a piece still. And I, I put you in my link tree for 24 hours. So just kind of throwing that out there. I also do promotion, paid promotion, and I also 
paid for promotion. I probably paid maybe all together about $30 or $40 for different people's promo and also to be promoted on somebody only fans so you can definitely do that to you know get your view out there because after you promote to your own people so many times you don't basically got all the people who's going to promote i mean who's going to subscribe i mean if you keep if i keep seeing the same promotion and i ain't subscribed yet more than likely i'm just not going to subscribe but you kind of want to hit different people because you never know who's going to see you you kind of want to promote on different things like how i'm promoting now on youtube i had promoted on facebook I was promoting to new audiences, so I would definitely say kind of venture out. I would pay for promo if I was you guys. I mean, some people promo, the lowest promo I think I paid for was $2. So, and also another thing I did with those promos is I started giving out free subscriptions. I know some people just like free subscription, but I tell y'all, the money that you, the real money you're going to be making is in your message. Your subscription fee, that's just a little, you know, here's a little bit of money. But the real money is in the messages, I'm telling y'all. So, the way I did it was, when I got, pro, like, promo, the link I gave them to use was a free trial link. It only lasted three days. So, you got to look at my stuff and see if you like it for three days. And then you could actually subscribe for a month. And in those three days, I have time to send you pay-per-view messages. So, you might have got a free subscription, but I can send you about three five dollar messages and now i made my subscription fee off of you basically so that is a way to do it plus people love free because some people are kind of skeptical you're looking like well what do you actually post do i actually think that i'm gonna like what you post do i actually want to go ahead and give up 10 to 15 dollars and then i don't like what you got going on so i would definitely say maybe do like 10 so like 10 free subscribers i think i had did i made three different ones but maybe only 16 took advantage of what i had of the deal i did and then as soon as it was over everybody like oh my gosh i wanted to to get in free you had a chance but yeah my subscription fee when it's paid is always somewhere between 10 to about 18 dollars my regular price is now 20 so if you missed the deal for a little while it might be full price but I, i'm always doing sales so i definitely recommend to do sales do free trialing for a few days you know stuff like that um I'm trying to think is there anything else i kind of want to put into this video oh and how to deal with unsatisfied fans so far i've had two unsatisfied fans and i'm gonna explain to you why they was unsatisfied my first unsatisfied fan he kept requesting um may like personalized content which i tell people my feed is what you pay for after you pay for it that's the only free content you're going to see if you want to see personal well this is what i want can you do this type of things it's going to be paid content you're not going to get it free anymore that's it what you pay for is what's on my feed you pay to see me dancing you pay to see cute little sexy pictures in my lingerie that i be buying and stuff just cute little stuff like that if you want to see something that's more personalized like oh i want you to wear this color or oh i want to see this or i want to see this type of picture or, i want to see this type of video that is personalized that is requested like that is going to be paid that's pay-per-view message it's not gonna be free so he kept asking for personal content and we discussed the price so i would send it to him he didn't pay for it now he kept saying he wanted to be my sugar daddy and i'm just like how can you be a sugar daddy when you you have no sugar to give sir please enjoy the content please enjoy the feed and leave me alone so he just he was kind of upset about that like he he wanted to be a sugar daddy that he made oh so much money but he probably bought one message and it was five dollars please stop capping in my messages so that was the first person i just told him if you're not if you're not having fun over here you can just leave or you can wait till your month get up and go on head out the way so he said i'm just enjoy my month and call it a day so my second fan which i just recently had to block him because he was just doing too much for me he subscribed he paid ten dollars ten dollars and he messaged me and was like i really just want to see your titties i'm like not for ten dollars you're not like my feed is is no nudity on my feed it's that's just what it like if you paying ten dollars it's, it's no nudity on my feed at all so he was kind of getting upset because he was just like you lied to me you got me to come up here and subscribe because you wanted to get money out of me and da, 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 da. i'm just like that's the point <laughs> like let's stop playing like i didn't make you do nothing you didn't want to do like look, come on now let's not so and he just kept going kept going mad 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 and i was just like sir if you're not happy just unsubscribe like enjoy your month you only paid ten dollars what are you really mad about so he just kept blowing on i was just like well i'm gonna just go ahead and block you because you blowing my messages up for no reason mad about because you can't afford 
what you want to see. And you're mad because you paid $10 and you've been seeing booty cheeks. <laughs> he like, oh, you post the same things and da, 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 da. If you guys click my link and look at my profile and see how many photos I posted and versus how many likes I have and stuff, you will see my people enjoy my content. He just was mad because he couldn't afford to see what he wanted to see. So I ended up blocking him. He wanted his money back, so I'm kind of just waiting for him to get a to get a chargeback thing. I got my first chargeback from a man who subscribed and tipped me, but he was mad that we wasn't having a conversation because he wanted to communicate outside of OnlyFans. I'm not with that, so we didn't communicate outside of OnlyFans. So he went and told his bank that it was fraud. So yeah, but so actually I had three three fans if we count total. So. Definitely get ready for that because if you don't post full nudity, you will have some people that get mad even though they're only paying $10. I don't know who thing you're subscribing to for $10 and you're seeing full nudity, but have fun with that. But yeah, so I think that's enough kind of rambling. I feel like I've hit a lot of points that people was wanting to know about, like how to get more fans, different stuff like that. Um, Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and jump into what I made, how much I made for the month, and all the other good stuff. So I got my notebook because this is what I keep my cash out stuff in. So from cash out, I made a total of $342.06 from cash out payments, which like I said in my first video, um, OnlyFans does not allow you to say cash out or use the word cash out, but you can communicate to people. So like I had one person that sent me $150 through cash out because if I would have got that $150 through OnlyFans, they would have taken, I think, $30. So I was just like, do you have cash out? You know, because I would like to keep that 30 Plus, I don't have to pay taxes on that. You know what I'm saying? And then on OnlyFans, let me get my timeline so that they won't be getting the money that I made over the last three days. Okay, so from July 31st, until august 31st which was my month so grossly in a month's time i made three thousand two hundred and sixty six dollars and eighty cents crazy right but my net that i took home was two thousand six hundred and thirteen dollars and forty four cents which honestly i ain't gonna lie to you which i feel like me personally i'm getting a little greedy so i'm kind of like stepping back because you know i don't want to be that person that's just like you know, I want all the, like, you know, it's it's nice because if you don't know, I've done, put my two weeks in for my actual job, which it doesn't have to do with the money I'm making for OnlyFans. It's mainly because it was a waste of me driving 30 minutes there and 30 minutes back to work two days a week, four hours a day. It was a waste. So I went ahead and let the job go and I'm open to getting another job, just probably not right now with school and how crazy things are. I like kind of working from home at this point. But I wanted to be making, because I made a thousand in my first week, and I wanted to keep that up. I wanted to make a thousand each week. But I had to realize I had like three or four like big paying people. And once they hit their limit of what they spend, it's kind of like going to a strip club. If you go to the strip club and you only bring $300 to spend in the strip club, once you spend that money, that's kind of it for you at that time. So I kind of, it kind of went down because my big spenders had done spent out. You know what I'm saying? And then the people that I was getting in was, they're kind of like, they don't want to spend that much money. So I kind of had to understand that. So I went from making a thousand a week to probably was to making anywhere between about 400 a week at that time. But it still was good. So yeah, so basically in the month of August, I made $2,613.44, which if I add that to my cash out. So in total from OnlyFans and cash out, I made $2,956.04. That's my total amount that I've taken home from OnlyFans, which is crazy. <laughs> that is crazy to me. This is basically the amount of money that I made the whole year of 2018. Cause I just did. I had to turn in my taxes for school. That's crazy. I've made that in a month. But to help y'all with um, taxes. So if this was how much I pay. I mean how much I've made. Let's say on OnlyFans all together. That was it. This is what I took home from OnlyFans. Bump cash out. I would take this number. And I would times it by 0.3. Cause I like to save 30% for taxes. So that means $886.81 I will need to have saved, but I go ahead and round it up. So I would have put $890 up. Yeah, so I would definitely recommend that you guys do that just to make sure that you're saving your own tail in the future. Just saying. Because you don't want to be looking crazy because the government is going to get their money regardless, okay? They're going to come and get their money regardless, baby. So I would definitely do that. But yeah, that's my total of what I made. If you guys have any more questions or need help with anything, comment down below and I will try to help you guys to the best that I can. 
Again, if you would like to get promo for your OnlyFans, you can either DM me on Instagram or you can add me on Snapchat and message me on there. I do promo on both of those. And if you want to get promo for all my actual OnlyFans, then you can um, message me on Instagram. For that, let me give you guys my, tell you my profile. So I have, currently I have 39 pics, 25 videos. Oh, this is on my feed. I have 571 hearts, which means like the amount of likes on all my content and I have 83 fans so if you would like to get promo on my actual only fans it's $20 DM me on Instagram and if you want to subscribe the link is always in the description box so that's really it for this video again if you so if you like this video and you enjoy it and got something from it make sure you like this video if you want to start the only fans and want to create using my um referral link is down in the description box if you use my referral link you'll get free pom free promo and you know free help and if you like what you see and you want to subscribe to my OnlyFans, link in the thing. If you have any questions or anything like that, I may do a Q&A video so you can comment it down below and I'll answer it in another video. Or if it's something simple, I'll just answer it down below in the, um, in the comments. And hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. This is Sin signing off. Peace.